Hi, welcome back. Now we're going to take a look at bone histology. In this first set of notes, we're just going to do a quick overview and a just look at the six primary functions of the bones. So let's take a look at those right now. The first one here, I kind of already know, and that's that our bones help form our shape. All right, our shape and form come from our bones. If you take a look at the picture to our right here, and we can see that it looks like a human. Right, it's missing the skin, it's missing the hair, it's missing the stylish clothes, but that is a human. Now, our bones are also there for support. So our lower limbs, right? when we stand up, they're going to help support the trunk of our body when we're standing. And then our rib cage as well will help support that thoracic wall. Protection is another function of the bones. Taking a look at the skull, fused bones will protect the brain. When you're a newborn, you might have heard this before, if maybe not, if you, not when you were a newborn, you probably didn't hear this, but might have heard around newborns is that they have that soft head. You don't want to touch the head of a newborn. You got to be careful, right? Because those bones haven't hardened yet and they haven't fused together yet, but over time they will. Then you have the vertebrae. The vertebrae is going to surround and protect that spinal cord. We don't want anything to happen at spinal cord. That's when it gets severed and gets damaged. That's when it leads to different types of paralysis. Then the rib cage. And you see in the picture here, the rib cage will be protecting the thoracic organs, the lungs, and the hearts there. And that's very important for us to protect movement. So our bones give our muscles something to attach to and it will attach by the tendons. So you go from muscles to tendons to bones. Right? So the tendons are like the middleman between the bone and the muscles. And then the bones and the muscles kind of move like, like levers. Okay? When the muscle contracts, it's going to pull it forward. All right? So when I do this and I contract here, it's going to pull this forward all right, so this is contracting, this muscle here is contracting, down below is relaxing. So if I need to go to the opposite, this one will contract, and this one will relax. All right, so this is all determined by the arrangement of the bones. How the bones are arranged is to depend on how it moves around, all right, how our body moves, and then also how the joints are too. So we have different types of joints, and that's going to allow different types of movement too. Storage. Storage is a big one that a lot of people don't realize. The bone stores uh, fat and minerals for us, right? And then also minerals, calcium, phosphate. And the whole reason for this is the blood will, uh, that's how we, re we release the calcium, the phosphate, the minerals into the blood, which will then go to the body, to the organs that need them. So it's kind of like a storage, okay, and the organs say, okay, now I need this, and then it will be released by the bones into the bloodstream. Then we have blood cell formation. So actually our blood cells are made in our bones. Right? Now this occurs within the, ca the cavities and the hollow spaces of certain bones. Not all bones, but certain bones there. Okay, that's it. Like I said, it's going to be quick. And that's just an overview of the six primary functions of bones. When you come into class, we're going to take a little bit closer look. See you then.